What's up, y'all? Welcome back to Seton Hill Studios. Hope you're having a great Sunday. I got a good one for us today. We're going to be checking out two of my favorite guitar players, Martin Miller and Tom Quayle, with an instrumental duet of Isn't She Lovely? It's going to be good. Super excited. Can't wait to get into it. For those of you who want to support the channel, you can do so by heading on over to Patreon, becoming a member there, um, get access to all sorts of exclusive perks. You can also get priority requests by donating through Buy Me A Coffee, and then you can also become a member right here on YouTube and have a whole other set of exclusive perks as well. All right, y'all, let's get into it. <music> All right, guys, here we go. Martin Miller and Tom Quayle, Isn't She Lovely by Stevie Wonder, live instrumental duet. Let's get into it, see what it's all about. Both so good at comping. There's a little jam session up top. <laughs> they're both just going for it, but they're not walking over each other. So I love that technique right there that Martin Miller's doing. Uh, he started off, he hit those first couple octaves with the pick, um, and then he switched over, put the pick away, and he started strumming um, through the octaves just with his thumb. Um, so the first time I ran into that technique was Eric Johnson. I feel like I say that a lot. A lot of first guitar firsts for me were Eric Johnson. A uh, huge influence on me. Um but yeah, so and he got that kind of deal from, I believe he said West Montgomery was where he kind of picked up that style from, just like kind of that warm jazz tone. Um, when you're using your thumb, it's going to give you a completely different sound than the pick. So it was cool because you can hear the difference in the first two octaves and then when he switches to his thumb, completely different tone, super cool. Uh, I'm going to take it back uh, just a second and watch it there again and just listen to the difference. <laughs> So pretty bright, totally different warm tone there. Such a good lick. so pretty Ooh, beautiful bend ah, love those harmonies they did together smooth so they're playing a lot of single note lines but martin miller there he did a bunch of really cool like quick double stop runs um, like with some hybrid picking stuff where you're using uh, a finger to pluck and your pick to pluck at the same time um, super cool sound um, and the the harmonies that they were doing together man they're in sync I don't know how much rehearsal they put into this. I know they're both top tier guitar players that can just kind of sit around, jam and comp. Um, but it sounds like, you know, they really sat down and really worked this out and rehearsed it. And I'd be willing to bet that they may have just turned the camera on and went for it because they're just that good. Uh, man, love listening to these guys play. 
Both of these guys have unreal phrasing. Um, just the, it's so melodic. Like you, everything that they're playing, other than that real crazy legato lick that Tom Quayle just played, um, it's all like singable. And that's usually like you find like the best guitar solos or really just any instrumental solo is things that you remember that stick out like melodically. Um, and both of these guys, man, their phrasing is incredible. Um, they're really just making the instrument talk, man. It's, it's a pleasure to listen to. Slick, man. Slick. Oh, there, there's some licks for the rest of us out here. It's good old pentatonic licks. I know I've talked a lot about the different lead techniques and things that they both got going on, but you really can't discount how good of a rhythm player both of these guys are as well. I mean, they're holding it down for each other while the other one's soloing, and it's just it's great. And they're not, they're not walking on each other. Anything that they do, it's uh, it's just complimenting what's going on and really just setting the stage for whoever has the lead at the moment. Um, you know, these guys have, you know, played enough leads here, you know, trading licks back and forth uh, to last a lifetime, man. Just killer, killer licks. Um, and, and very different play styles as well. I mean, Martin Miller's doing a lot of, you know, double stop stuff. He's doing a lot of alternate picking stuff, string skipping stuff. And then Tom Quayle is really, um, from what I've seen, he's really known for his like lightning fast legato stuff where he's doing those crazy fast um, hammer on and pull off licks like you heard earlier. Uh, but both of them just such accomplished, amazing guitar players, man. Gosh. He gave him the look. I love the change in the comping there to where he was just almost running like it was a bass line before he switched back to chords. There's those double stops. Oh, he hit a pedal. Ooh. Oh, and the key change.
love that reverb tail there. That was an unexpected chord to end on there. Wow. Whew. Man. I did not expect that uh, that ending there. They went super big. You know, Tom Quayle hit the overdrive pedal and really went for it. Uh, and then they kind of ended with that super dissonant chord. That was cool, man. Unexpected. You know, I, uh, I'm all about kind of getting blindsided by stuff like that as long as it works musically and it it definitely did uh i don't know exactly what happened there but part of the mystery it makes it kind of cool all right y'all what'd you think they put on a clinic for sure man so talented both of them um in their own respective ways are just masters of their craft i love listening to them man they just you know everything they played was so tasteful um and so technical, like you don't find, you know, it's not every day that you have someone who can play these crazy technical licks and riffs and at the same time, like make them musical and make them tasteful. So I think that's the most, you know, the coolest thing about watching guys like that is just how do they take that blend of being super tasteful and then they throw something in that just blows your mind. Um, that one lick that Tom Quayle did, I know I keep bringing it up, but that thing was nasty. All right, make sure that you like the video. If you like what you saw, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so that you can be made aware every time we drop new content. You know, and as always, we'll see you on the next one.